It's time for Did You Watch It? How does this show work? We watch what we like, we talk about what we watch, and maybe you'll like what you hear. I'm Liz. And I'm Neil. Last night we watched episode 5 of The Bachelor season 19. The show aired on Monday, January 26, 2015. Here's what we thought about it. Isabel is here this week because Liz is a bit under the weather, and we thought it best that she recuperate and get her strength back because apparently next week is going to be even more crazy than this week. <laughs> you think? But before we begin on this week, I have to clear up something from last week. Okay, what's that? Trina, who was the special education instructor, yes. was not given a rose, so she was sent home. Now, in my HEPA breakdown... <laughs> She was classified as an unknown. (laughs) But that was before I discovered that she actually has not one, but two postgraduate degrees, and they are with honors. Well, well. I wish to posthumously reclassify her as a woman. Yes. Not a heifer, not an unknown. No, no, I don't have heifers. I don't have heifers in my classification. You are a woman, you are a fence, you are a girl, or you are just unknown. Okay, Academic accomplishment and or entrepreneurial endeavors Mm -hmm. give you serious woman consideration. So, Trina, congratulations. Applause. Applause, applause. (laughs) Pause for applause. (laughs) We had some movement on my heifer breakdown for week four. (laughs) Okay. All right. So how many did we start off with? Because as I started watching the show, I thought, wait, how many women are left? Because there's still a few that I don't know. (laughs) We started off with 15. Yes. Okay. And the group date. We had Megan, Caitlin, Ashley S., Ashley I., Julia, Samantha, Mackenzie, and Kelsey. And the date card said, let's do something natural. Most of the girls were freaking out. What does that mean? Does that mean no makeup? What? I don't know how to get ready. And (laughs) When he said, let's do something, I said, hey, let's get naked. (laughs) That's where I would have gone. Why don't you just say your birthday, Sue? I mean, wouldn't that get right straight to the point much more than natural? Yeah, it turned out to be swimming in the lake and camping overnight. Mm-hmm. There was too much Ashley I this episode. The fuse has been ignited, and I was waiting for something to explode. You pictured it as one big-ass bomb. I pictured it as one of those chains of firecrackers that just, oh. you know, you start with one, and they just go... Because it was continuous. All damn night. Yeah. Yes. No, no. It You're, just didn't you, you've stop. You've got a very good point. They're very good analogy. I like that. Oh, thank you. Thank I get I lucky like sometimes. <laughs> she had the nerve to curl her mouth and say, if a guy's driving, it's like the sexiest thing a man can do. She is so a virgin. Oh, my God. I mean, I know you and Liz talked last week about how awkward it was to see her kiss Farmer. Yeah. It's like she can't wait. She's desperate to lose that V card. And whatever she can do to get there, she will do it. Put an ad in the paper. Yeah. Put an entry on Craigslist. (laughs) You know, because I'm sure that she could get it done a lot easier, a lot faster, and with a lot less of my involvement. Yeah. I'm just saving it for somebody, spe- but but I'm not making a big deal about it. It's not. It's not. I'm not that serious about it. I thought she said something that she just hadn't found the right guy. Or is that code for saving it for marriage? No, to Ashley I. If your virginity is not something you're super serious about, why do you still have it at 27? <laughs> Oh, she's okay. 26. To be to clarify, she's 26. Your auto insurance rates dropped at 25. Yeah. Okay. I would have used that as a cause celeb myself. <laughs> Let's celebrate. <laughs> Woo! Yes. All right. You know, party. She's a one trick pony. Oh, did I just use the word trick? Oops. Um. <laughs> the removal of bikini top on camping trip is so girl. Yeah. It's. But. The removal of bikini bottom is woman. (laughs) Yeah, I thought it was weird. I was like, why are you just taking off your top? Why not just take everything off if you just want to kind of, you know? Why stop? It's like, I'm still a virgin, but I'm willing to show you my naked back. (laughs) I got three words. What's that? Kelsey, Kelsey, Kelsey. What was up? What crawled up her butt and died? Liz and I had such high hopes for this one. 
Yes, I know. Even though I said early on, I didn't think she was ready. Mm -mm. She she was on the fence last week, mm -hmm. but yeah, she's full girl status right now. I really liked Caitlyn's commentary throughout the whole thing. Caitlyn, Caitlyn is a doll. She I like is. Caitlyn. I would totally hang out with her. She could absolutely be my daughter, but I like her. One of the scariest things in this show for me What's that? was the fact that there was so much crazy going on, I totally forgot about Ashley S. <gasps> You're right. She was just kind of in the background there. She got up and started singing around the campfire, and I literally had to go, who's that? <laughs> That's bad. It's very that bad. That is bad. You know I'm really in love with you. Oh, I can't believe she threw that word out. I'm in love with you, but you don't have to say anything in response right now. Yes. Yeah. Just, just know that I'm in love with you. <laughs> I just want to hold on to this moment forever. And the fact that the full moon is out, I was like, well, yes. Yeah. All the crazy is going to be out of the campground. <laughs> Ashley S. is going to wail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, <laughs> woo. Did you hear Mackenzie say something about how this is a perfect place to be abducted by aliens? <laughs> this is why I didn't notice it, because Ashley S. just blended into the background. <laughs> Between Ashley I, silly ass, and Mackenzie's yeah. alien sightings, and... And then Kelsey yelling about how this is just a bimbo date. Oh, par for the course. Yes. So, it's like Ashley didn't even register. No. <laughs> so, Caitlin got the rose, thankfully, and I was all in favor of that. So was especially I. Especially because, you know, she gave the big woman move so <laughs> i wasn't exactly surprised that she gave the big woman move i'm thinking well it's caitlin but she's actually kind of calmed down a little i think i wonder if it was just a matter of like i need to bring attention like i'm here i'm here it's literally the water's too cold mm -hmm. it's too cold outside but she has to go swimming mm -hmm. so what she do she runs up and she just leaps up the side of the pool and jumps in yeah the initial shock yeah <laughs> And then everything's all right. <laughs> so meanwhile, back at the ranch or the mansion or wherever the hell they house the heifers. It's the ranch because they got to corral them in. <laughs> so Chris's sisters decided to show up for the interview because they had to select farmers one-on-one -on -one date yep. for the little Cinderella outing that evening. All right. The prospective princesses were Carly, <laughs> Becca, Jillian, Whitney, Jade, Britt, and Nikki. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm liking Whit Whitney's a woman. She is. In my heifer breakdown. It's that so, voice sometimes, it, just kind of, When she gets but, excited. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's very bad. I love when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Goodness. Jade. She seems very shy and quiet and very reserved. She's launching that organic cosmetics company. A woman. Woman. All right. She's promoted. <laughs> It was a good week for Jade. It All was right. good, and I was happy for it. So was I. And then we see that Britt is starting to waver. She had been a woman for many weeks. Is this during her interview with the sisters? When Jade got picked, then, you know, she kind of, hmm. She started to lose a little, huh? Yeah. Well, see, I have no problem with confidence. I have no problem with self-esteem or self-assuredness, whatever. But there's a little bit too much Claire in Britt right now. Oh, you're right. So, mm, we got to calm that down. Anyway, the sisters picked Jade. We approve of that pick. When Caitlin got the rose at, while well, they're still camping, Ashley I was just eye rolling. Yeah. Then she decides, I'm going to go talk to Farmer Chris right now and tell him about my situation. She woke him up from a dead sleep. That's the worst time. Didn't we learn that with The Bachelor or in Paradise? I would have booted her at that point. I would have been like, what the hell? She could have rolled up naked with a bowl of maraschino cherries <laughs> and whipped cream <laughs> and said, mm, it must be Sunday. <laughs> no. Have a, I'm <laughs> sleeping, okay? <laughs> it must be Sunday. <laughs> it must oh, be goodness. Sunday. And then to wake me up from a dead sleep, want to tell me something, and then not tell me. Yeah, she kind of went around it like, I'm very innocent and inexperienced. Like, what is that supposed to mean? Inexperienced how? You don't do a lot just of traveling. Just woke up. I'm woozy. I'm do just point and say, new construction. <laughs> 
while Jade was getting ready with the little fairy god people or whoever. Oh, the, yeah, yeah. The one with the pink hair. Yeah. Couldn't you just visualize the heifer envy that was just oozing from the hallway into that room oh, and getting all over totally. them glass slippers? You know, I know some of the women in the house, you're like, wow, this is amazing. I'm envious that she's going on this date. But that's, they just left it at that. None of this, it should have been me. And I should have been, unlike someone we know. She even packed her own princess dress. Exactly. That's a sad state right there. You think? Okay, you are so virgin yeah. if you are packing your own princess dress to go to The Bachelor. Really? So, the Cinderella date. Of course, it had to be tied in with the upcoming movie release of Cinderella. Of course. Was was there enough product placement for you? Of course. You? It's every season they do this. Every season. Yeah. There you go. But I will say I love the fact that Jade got to keep the earrings and the Louboutins. I, I thought you would like that. I know yeah. Liz loved it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, would, I don't know when, where I would wear those Louboutin shoes, but I would try to make sure that I kept them and I would have them available for any occasion. For anything. <laughs> yes. Anything. Bowling. Yeah. I'm wearing my shoes. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, maybe not I'm that because I'm afraid they'd get stolen. I haven't worn these shoes in three years. But I'm, I'm wearing going, them. I'm wearing these shoes yeah. bowling. <laughs> Why the hell do they always go on these effing platforms? <laughs> so whether it's an artist. Okay, I can get the artist because they want, you know, because they're in a crowd. But they were the only ones in there. And the orchestra's playing. I'm thinking, why are you on a fucking platform? I know. It didn't make any sense. I don't, I didn't understand it. Farmer's trying to do the waltz. And they showed him practicing before Jade got there. And I thought, I could see him counting in his head. Like, he's trying not yeah. to count his mic. Yeah. One, two, three, one. One, two, yeah. three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for them to fall off the platform. Because really, he's kind of guiding the dance, right? So I'm waiting for him to take too big of a step and poof, but I didn't want Jade to fall off the platform because I like Jade. Well, she would have fallen on top of him. He would have. I know. Broken I mean, her that fall. would have been interesting. But you know, then oh, there would have been black rectangles. Yeah, so that's true. <laughs> we're just not even dealing with that. <laughs> no more black rectangles. Okay, but at the stroke of midnight, she had to run off basically. But I remember thinking, well, I know she's sure as hell not going to be leaving behind any Louboutin. <laughs> no hell. Oh no! no. I'm taking these shoes with me. You find me, boy. <laughs> You got my address, because I'm taking these shoes. I had a laugh. I'm like, she's not going to leave a shoe behind. That's right. She yeah, use know. that shoe on the pedestal back there, but exactly. like, these That's things the are coming one. home with me. Yeah. <laughs> Jade out. We had a group date with the remaining women that did not get selected for the Cinderella date. There were six, uh, Nikki, Jillian, Carly, Becca, Whitney, and Britt. Uh -huh. The date card said, let's get dirty. So there were packages waiting for them at the front door. Six boxes filled with wedding dresses. Hop on a plane to San Francisco to participate in Muckfest MS. Woohoo! Woohoo! Now, Muckfest MS is the worthy cause segment for this season. Muckfest MS is a mud and obstacle race designed to raise money and raise awareness of multiple sclerosis. For winning the race, Jillian got a one-on-one -on -one date with Chris, and they went to dinner at the Fairmont. I've been there. It's beautiful. Very good. And she just wouldn't shut up. I think Farmer Chris started off on the wrong foot when he asked her, where do you see yourself in five years? And I remember thinking, is this an interview, like a job interview, or is this supposed to be a date? You know, she could have said married, slopping some hogs. I know he's not a pig farmer. Right. Shucking some corn. <laughs> Riding a tractor. <laughs> yeah. Cheering for the University of Iowa. She could have handled that 173 different ways than the one that she chose. Yeah. Which was to just keep talking. Well, she pretty much uh, said, well, I don't know where I'll be in five years. I hate when people ask that question. I don't know. Da, 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 and you never know what's going to happen. I mean, I can understand yeah. like, oh, well, I certainly want to accomplish this at work. I want to be a manager or a supervisor or something, but... I love when Chris said, you know, it's it's nice to not have the pressure <laughs> of having to say something. <laughs> you think he was throwing her some shade? <laughs> yeah. This was the first time that I actually witnessed the person not getting a rose. Yeah. I wasn't surprised. I wasn't no. even shocked. I was just incredibly relieved. You know, it's... 
I understand it's nerve wracking because Jillian said so at this point. This I'm really mm -hmm. nervous, but she's been on dates before, right? You know, you answer, then you ask a question. What about you? Gym dates, I'm sure. Gym dates, okay, where they're just like, I can pump 100 more pounds than you can. Winner buys the protein drink. <laughs> then we get to the cocktail party. When Carly said she's only been kissing him like 13,000 times, her mouth isn't a virgin. <laughs> that was so funny. Well, she had to run over and say, okay, I need to tell you something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you remember what we talked about in the tent. Yeah, it was just like, I was trying to get some sense from his face, like, as soon as she said, I'm a virgin, and he was kind of like, um... Uh, that's uh, not what I was expecting. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, but thank you for sharing. <laughs> Let me give you an appreciative hug. He said he respects her choice, and that's pretty much all I got out of that. Yeah. Did you hear more? And that's all that was there, really. Okay. Because what are you going to say? You're a virgin? Get out! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. hey, there you go. Way to hold the coochie. Thank you. I will be taking the withdrawal from that account not too long from now. I was laughing because shortly after they had their exchange and then she kind of runs off in the other room and starts kind of like bawling. And I, you know, she's making a bigger deal out of this than I think she needs to. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She said something to the effect of like, I was waiting for him to make a move. And I'm thinking, what kind of move did you want him to make? Do you want him to take you to his bedchamber, deflower you, and then make some sort of announcement? <laughs> and hold Wait, something up like, look! What, one, one moment, I have a question. Sure. Okay, it's 2015. Did you just say bedchamber? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, I'm just... I'm just because checking. she is a princess, remember? This is true. This yes. is true. I'm just trying yes. to stick with her, the theme in her Thank head. Thank you. It was contextually accurate. Yes. Britt pissed me off. Oh, well, her line of questioning? <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Farmer should not have to explain his reasoning to another girl why he gave his rose to any other girl. Mm -hmm. You know why you're here, right? Right. You knew that there were going to be other heifers here, exactly. right? Exactly. You do know what you signed up for, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. She just made Chris look really, really bad. Well, uh, I, uh... I was going to go to the, and, um, you know, because <laughs> once again, this is the first episode that I seriously felt sorry for the boy. I know she was trying to choose her words very carefully, but girl, you weren't even on this date. So how do you know exactly what happened? Thank you. Going off rumor and innuendo exactly. from other heifers looking, trying to get the same man that you're going after. Exactly. Oh, please, please. They they smelled the jealous stink on you. Yeah, she could have just said, you know, you know, I haven't talked to you in so long. How are you? Leave it at that. But no, they said, mm, yeah, I took my bikini bottoms off and I'm a woman now. And she took her top off and she's still a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it took Chris a while to kind of come to his words because you said he's like, uh, is that, you know, and I, I don't exactly remember what he said, but it was just something about insinuations and rewarding inappropriate behavior and... Inappropriate to whom? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I'm sorry, because if somebody was flashing their tatas and me said, give me a rose. Yeah. I really have to sit and think about that one. Yeah. I'm just saying. I Especially know. if I have a line. Yeah. Serving number seven. Yeah. Can we get number seven in here now? <laughs> Hi. I want a rose. Yeah. Okay. It's I'll like, show you this too. Yeah. And it's like rewarding inappropriate. Inappropriate. To you. You. Exactly. If you had a rose, you could hold on to them. But you know what? My roses are for sale. Oh. And the price is two chachis. <laughs> we had to say goodbye this week to Nikki. When she came up to say goodbye, I remember thinking, wait, who's that one again? <laughs> Once again, that's why she was unknown. Exactly. We had to say goodbye to Julia who I said needed to be said goodbye to last week, this week. She's she's the one whose husband committed suicide shortly after the birth of their kid, right? Yeah. 
And finally, we get to say goodbye. Drum roll. Oh my goodness. Ashley S. She's gone. I mean, I was looking at her face when the roses were being called. And right at the end, where I guess Britt was the last one to get the rose. And she just had this, like, one eye looked bigger than the other. She had that putting the rabbit in the pot yes. face, you know? Yes. I will not be ignored, Chris. Right. <laughs> Do you like bunnies? Yeah. You know, it's just... <laughs> Then we see Ashley S's crazy exit interview. I feel nothing. Yeah. I feel nothing. I'm fine. I'm good. And if I'm going to tell Chris something, it's nothing. So next week, as per usual, I don't care. <laughs> They're going to Santa Fe, I think, first off. Because with all the balloons, the... Uh, the balloon races or yes. the, the balloon excursion La or whatever. Or, yeah. Whatever the they call balloon. that down there. And Carly's undressing the boy? I don't know if it was her because they show her kissing and in some sort of embrace, but then we see so I don't know if it's the same person. Kelsey's gonna have some issues next week. It could be her that's, that's undoing the drawstring. Possibly, because didn't she say that she was gonna make a move or she was gonna do something? She was going to do something. She's going to take it to the next level. Oh, and Princess Ashley is not going to be too happy. Of course. Oh, you know what? She can suck it. Yeah, she sure can. I'm sure she really wants lolly, to as a well. A lollipop <laughs> I'm talking about. A lollipop. <laughs> Thank you for subbing tonight, You're very welcome. It's Get been well kind of good to, you know, lives. just you and I do our little... Yes, it's a snark fest tonight. Well, isn't it always when it's you and I on this thing? Well, there you go. Because that's how we roll. That's our time for today. You can follow us on Twitter at did the letter U watch it. You can also find us at iTunes. Let us know what you think. Thank you for listening.